welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I'm Tony, and it's lovely to meet you. If you love home interiors, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, then you're in the right place. This is going to be my bedroom tour. It's part of a series, so we've done the lounge, the dining room, the kitchen. This is now the bedroom, and I'm not really going to ramble on. I'm just going to get stuck straight into it, really. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in and show you the bedroom. I'm going to start over this side with the wardrobe, so you can have a little look. This is just the Pax wardrobe from Ikea and we chose the high gloss, white high gloss door and a mirror on the other side. And I think you just basically pick what you want inside and build it yourself. They're not expensive, the you know, and they're nice, the good solid wardrobes. I like them because they go right up to the ceiling. And yeah, that's the wardrobe. Then down to the little stool. I get loads of questions about this stool on Instagram and it's basically just a little stool with a white leather seat on it from HomeSense and it was £40 and they have them in all the time and then this just sits on the top and it's basically just a, it's meant to be a faux fur cushion, it was £10 and I literally just sit it on the top and it looks pretty, obviously that's a little bit out but yeah, I just sit it on the top and it looks pretty. And then moving over, we've got my shoe cabinet, again, which I get lots of questions about. It's from the Ames range, I think it's called, at Ikea. And I purchased this about three years ago. It is a shoe cabinet. I store some beauty products in that cupboard and flip-flops and then toiletries in the bottom. And it's ideal. I think it was £60. I'll link everything down below, though, as you already know. And I didn't put the handles on it that came with it. I put crystal handles on just so they match the headboard and they look nice. And then the wallpaper on that wall is Laura Ashley in Dove Grey and it's the Josette paper. Um, the little pots with the flowers in are from the range and I think next on some similar ones too. But those are just really pretty and they were 5 99 each. My favourite reed diffuser from next in the scent ski lodge i absolutely love that smell it's a limited edition scent as well that one you can only get it at christmas time so if you do like the scent i suggest you stock up because you, you just can't get them all the time and then the mirror i want to say that the mirror's from dunelm and i'm pretty sure i got it from dunelm but someone said that the ones in dunelm are actually like a gold color so i've recently seen it in b&m too so you'll get it in B&M, plus it was cheaper at B&M. They're just a uh, chest of drawers from Ikea. They are the Malm range, and they're just ideal. They've just got Lee's bits in them, and then the skybox and the TV, and then my shutters, which have been fitted by Direct Shutters here in Liverpool. And we chose the bright white wooden shutters. There's a 10-year 10 10 year guarantee with them, and I've said it before, I think actually mine don't fold in like you see some of them mine actually open out so you can clean the windows easily. And then moving over this side, I get tons of questions over my bedside tables. Now those bedside tables are years and years old. They're older than Arlie and Arlie's nearly 21. So we just change the handles on them. They're just like a white veneer. They're not white wood. It's like wood, but it's got like a veneer topping, is it? Well, they're just white veneer drawers you can still get similar online now i'll link some down below but the years and years old i'd love to say that you'd probably get them but you can't i think they were from mfi and um, the bedside lamps are from uh, an interior shop here in liverpool called furniture outlet village and i get lots of questions on them they really are gorgeous lamps and they're very high as well and they're like a glass a glass bubble effect and this solid glass at the bottom as well they are really gorgeous lamps if I can't find them on their website, in fact, I don't even know whether Furniture Outlet Village have a website, but I'll link similar for you, so don't worry. The mirrors at the back of the chest of drawers, they're from World Stores. And again, I get loads of questions over them. They're just nice and they just finish it off, I think, perfectly. And then the mirrors above the bed are from a company in Warrington called All That Jazz. Everybody asks me over these mirrors and I wish that I could tell you that this company have a website or an Instagram but they don't. It's just a little interior shop in Warrington and they sell all kinds. It's one of my favourite furniture shops to go to. I'm going to vlog next week in there. I'm going to ask them if it's okay for me to film and I'm going to film in there next week and put it into part of a weekly vlog or one of my videos. I'm not sure yet. Just to give you a little look around. But 
I mean, they are similar online, so I will link them for you, don't worry. Then my headboard, which I absolutely love, is in like a seal grey with Swarovski crystals inside. That was why I put the crystal handles on the shoe cabinet, because I just thought they'd look really, really nice. Then the pillows, the back cushions, these knitted ones were from Sainsbury's probably about a year ago now. And these cushions have been handmade, but I've found some less, so they will be linked. My bedding, this set that I've got on at the moment is Amazon. I've got three sets of white pin tuck bedding and I have a set from Sainsbury's, a set from eBay and a set from Amazon. And they're all fantastic quality, you know, I've got no concerns with them at all. It's just lovely white pin tuck bedding really, you know. Just nice. But I do get lots of questions over my bed. And the skirt on the bottom of the bed, I'll just pick it up so you can see. That's the bed underneath. And then the skirt is from, I think it's from Georgia Asda. Yeah, it's from Georgia Asda, the skirt. And then the throw that goes over the bottom, that's from B&M stores. And it was dead cheap and it's so big and super soft. Like really soft to the touch. It's a gorgeous blanket that. And then the reed diffuser there, as you've seen in one of my other videos, that's from Ikea. And it's just got next orange and blossom reed diffuser in it. And my flooring is from B&Q. And I'll link it down below because I can't really remember what it's called. But it's just B&Q flooring anyway. And it, it's really, it's not expensive flooring, but it's nice when it's down. The paint on the back wall is actually a colour match um, Dove Grey paper. So this grey that you actually see here, we had, I took a piece and we had it colour matched. And I think they matched it perfectly because that wall used to be wallpapered in Joseph paper too. But when I was having the shutters fi fitted, when I was having the shutters fitted, I didn't know whether I was going to be able to keep the two mirrors that go over the bedside table. So I took the wallpaper off and just prepared for it really. I thought, well, I'll just paper, but uh, I'll just paint it. But it turned out perfect, to be honest. So I'm still in two minds whether I want to put the Joseph paper back up there, to be honest. Because as much as I don't mind that grey being on the wall, I just feel like it's all very, very grey. <laughs> the whole bedroom's just white and grey, but... You know, it's fine. It does now. The white on these walls is Dulux Brilliant White. And again, it's in satin paint. Satin paint is the only paint I use in my house because it's easily wiped down. And that's why I love it. And then my ceiling light is from Wayfair. And you will have seen that bedroom light in one of the show homes on my first vlog. I showed you the light in the bedroom and it was the same as mine. So, yeah. That's the ceiling light and then my fan is from Amazon and I think that's just about everything in the room, isn't it? I've actually done that really quick. The flowers down there are out of the office so they won't be staying there. I don't know where they're going to go yet but they're not staying that's there. That's my bedroom tour. All finished. Yeah. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've got any questions leave them in the comments down below for me and I'll get right back to you. Have a lovely day everyone and I'll see you soon.